Look, bruh. What's up, Buzz Thons? It's Curtis Thon Dino and Perf. She said her name. She said, What's up, Buzz Thons? She want to get down. You want to be in the video? Look. It's you right there. Look. She don't care. Okay. Go ahead. Get down. Like, that's why you can't get down. All right, what's up, Buzz Dawn? So today we're doing an unboxing. So it's been a while since we've done an unboxing, at least since I've actually recorded some videos because a lot of times the videos be kind of like old and I just take forever to get them out. Like, it's a lot of stuff I wanted to record for y'all that got my birthday, but due to some unforeseen circumstances, I don't even have those things anymore to record. So you can't unbox something that you damn near never wore and if you don't got it. So, but you know how the way life goes. So I hope y'all like my hoodie. Dino. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let me take a picture. Y'all gotta see the back door. Hopefully that was enough. All right, so it's a minute in, and this is my second pair of these, but sadly my only pair of these, cause I had another pair, but don't know where they went due to unforeseen circumstances. So, long story short, I went to sex today. Um, in 20, it's 2021. I really don't have any desires to really buy anything for real, so or like any style direction. I've been working so hard, I just pretty much wear my own stuff, which is lit as fuck, by the way, and just buying stuff to go with that. So I dropped some new velour sweatsuits, and I needed a shoe to match so I could get my little sister to take some pictures on me. So I went to Saks today at Friendship Heights and grabbed me some B22s. This is my second pair. Um, Initially, I mean, I love the shoe. It got the perfect amount of height to it. Um, short guy stand up. Uh, it has style. It got, they do a lot of color play. But most importantly, what I really like about the B22s is they low-key comfortable. Even though they're real narrow. And I got like a wide foot or like a wide like toe thing. Like this is all wide. My bad. My socks kind of blinty. My... Okay, so that's what we got. So the box is like a pebble. It looks just like, if you watch my um, bag unboxing, my deal with man bag unboxing, it's similar. They got like a window hole in it, which would reveal the the shoe or whatever. So these are B22s. These are $1,200. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They high as fuck, but let me just say, they came with a stain on them. I think that is so funny and I can't wait to I don't know what to say, but can, somebody, can I get Y'all think I could call them and ask them, can I get a discount for the stain? Um, but so the box is pretty simple. I'm gonna let y'all know exactly how much they came up to. I live in Maryland, so it's 6% sales tax. And da, 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 da. so it came up to 12.72 total. Um, and it's rent time, so I don't need to be buying them shoes, but that's another story. But I love the B22s. My other ones, they were a similar colorway, but they had like a little bit of red. I like these ones better. The other ones had like a brown gum sole. These ones don't. Um, I don't know. I'm really a fan of these, though. I just love the way they look. And they look so good with pretty much everything. They look good with like jeans that's super skinny, jeans that's not that skinny. And that's really important when you purchase the shoes that are $1,200 because you want them bitches to last. Um, so, yeah, so... You know, they got like a little Dior bubble on the side. That's one of my favorite details of the shoe. Then we got like a mesh toe. This is weird because it's like layered. So on the top layer, it's like mesh. It's like a hard mesh. But then underneath is like something soft. But it's like dirt could get in between the mesh and kind of like land into like this nowhere land. I'm going to see if it'll focus inside there. Like that nowhere land underneath the mesh. And that's bad. So then we got like some, I don't know this. Oh, shit. I want to do these reflect. It don't look like it, but it kind of do at the. It kind of does at the same time. And red, blue, and gray and black always works well together. As Spider Man, fashion icon, fashion legend, the one, the only, Spider Man. Perhaps you want to be back in my video? Oh look, Shay, she looking over here for she. She want her mommy. But um, so what I like about these are the um. Oh shit, I didn't know this was a new buck. I don't like I don't like suede or new buck at the top because it always get ashy. I hate that. 
But these are still cool. They are narrow on the feet. These, they didn't have a 41, which is my size. So I got a 40. But I pretty much could wear every size that is known to man. Um, I really wear like a 7.5 to an 8. But I always buy 8s. Because I like room in my shoes. But even my old ones were very narrow. So this won't make me a difference. And if you take in out of the outer... The, um, if you take in the upper sole... If you take out the upper sole... <laughs> They're still not too bad. Like a lot of shoes be like rock hard, but they still got like leather and stuff like that. So that can give you some more room, especially if you got like a wider foot. Um, a simple tip that I mean, I guess is obvious. So I really don't even have to state that, but I feel like that should is something that should be known. Um, like the details of the shoe are crazy. I do know that this tab right here has like a reflector strip on it. Um, I'm glad that I do have a pair of these though, so I can really give you an in-depth review. I can let you know the quality. A lot of unboxings are pointless unless you like really into sneakers and like the details of them and shit like that. For me, for me with, 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 with unboxings, I always try to get like, is the shoe worth buying tonight? And that's why I said for 2021, I'm going to try to be a little bit more, give y'all, bring y'all a little bit more value by letting you know stuff about the shoes sometimes. I've been low-key getting into fashion history a little bit, too. So, I got some information on that. And, like, I didn't know that. I, it's just, like, when you look at fashion history and you see that, like, Dior um, started their brand. And it's known for, like, all of these crazy silhouettes and designs. I mean, that's Crystal Ball Balenciaga. But my point is, so if you got, like, huh? Who are you on the phone? Because I'm, I'm so nosy. I can't help but listen at the same time. Because you whisper. Nosiness to jump up. All right, so now that she's gone, I've been getting into fashion history a little bit lately and just learning a little bit about things. It's so interesting. I feel like some of my subscribers will be interested too, so I'll try to share on and pass information. This year, I'm going to be working super, triple hard, so you will see me in content. If you do not see me posting videos, please call me out. But to get back into the shoe, um, I mean, the, the box was nothing crazy. It was nothing to see. I really just want to let y'all know, great shoe to buy, but the quality isn't what a $1,200 shoe should be. The reason I say this is because, a couple reasons. One, I did get, I did get like, trust me, you don't owe me any money from how many times I wore my first pair. So the fact that somebody stole them, I'm not even mad because it's like, I didn't warm enough. Y'all good. Even though y'all know me, I'm a collector, so I like keeping everything. Who the fuck phone is on Okay, so, I'm back, my bad. So, um, a couple things. So when I originally had these shoes, this tab in the back ended up coming out because of, I guess, me pulling. I don't probably don't pull any harder than anybody else. Then, um, the shoestrings, like they don't really have like a metal cap or anything. It seems like a basic shoestring. Um, like with the plastic cover, I mean, or eyelid. I, well, is this the eyelid? That's the eyelid. Whatever this part is at the bottom. I, can't, I don't know what it is. Cap. But whatever is it's pretty inexpensive feeling and looking. And this started the fray. But luckily it does come with another pair of shoestrings. But beyond all of that, I think it's really a dope shoe to purchase. Um, oh, this side right here really don't come clean too well. I got mine professionally clean because that's how much I want. And... He is like top tier, best of the best. I don't know if it's because he didn't really do that good of a job that day, but he didn't really do a good job on him. And I was just like, oh, okay, it's not him. It's probably just shoe because I don't know. But overall, it's a, it's a really good shoe. It's comfortable somewhat. Oh, my God. Parasho, you almost broke your ass. She's not up here. Are you okay? I wish I got it on camera. Oh, you all right? Oh. Thanks so too, Shay. This is my baby. Calm down, come on. Come on. I love you. My bad, Boss Stones, I apologize. Sometimes you have to look after your niece because she's important to me. And it's 2021 and we only focusing on those that we care about. Everything else is bullshit. But, yeah, so definitely a good shoe, definitely a good purchase, definitely a good cop. Oh, these look so good with these Dino latex pants that I ain't drive yet. So tough. Let me not say that though, y'all know how these fucking scavengers are. But all right, boys, dons. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Happy New Year. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate all y'all support throughout the years for y'all to still watch my videos. 
um, all 10 of y'all, but even still, I still appreciate it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Stay untouchable. Godspeed.